Well, throughout Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we've brought you the latest in research and technology, personal stories of strength and courage, and so much more. But we also want to highlight the 1% of breast cancer cases, and that happens in men. The CDC says about one out of every 100 breast cancer diagnoses in the U.S. is in a man. It's about one in every eight for women. But risk factors for men are similar to that of women. Obesity, genetic mutations, a family history. Nurse navigator Melissa Latosky says it's important to talk to your family to understand how alert you should be. It's not something you can change or control, but we want people to talk so they know what their family history is. That if they're considered high risk, if they have two first degree relatives, so like mom and sister would be first degree relatives. So then you might want to consider genetic testing or seeing a genetic counselor. All right, so this week I was able to visit the Breast Health Center at Covenant's Cancer Campus to find out what it's like to get screened. For women 40 and up, an annual mammogram is important in detection. But for men, screenings like ultrasounds typically come after a lump or issue has already been found. The nurses there like to use this guide, Know Your Lemons, to look for signs and changes to your breasts. The things to watch for are any change, but specifically thick areas, dimples, um, crust of the skin, a change in temperature, leaking of fluid, an actual sore, a hard lump, skin changes that look like orange peel, um, any change in shape or size of the chest or breast, a sunken in nipple, a new growing vein, or a bump that's you know protruding out. So this is a good way for people to know what to look for. And even if you were embarrassed and don't want to talk about it, you could take this pamphlet into your doctor and point. <laughs> yeah, they make it easy. Our breast cancer coverage coincides with the Real Men Wear Pink of Mid Michigan campaign. I'm fortunate enough to be an ambassador this year, trying to raise $2,500 for local research. There's lodging and so much more for our local breast cancer patients and survivors. If you would like to help out our cause, you can find a safe link to donate. It's in the hot link section on our website.